Hi, I'm Jordana Jaquet from the Limerick School of Art and Design and today I'm at the Hunt Museum explaining the textiles used by Sybil Connolly in her designs. Sybil Connolly was the Irish fashion designer mostly famous in the 50s for creatively displaying Irish textiles in her designs. Working with a network of dressmakers and craft people, her couture designs were made to measure for individual clients, executed with dressmaking, textile and finishing of the best quality. The Irish moss dress is made with anchor-chief pleated linen. Weaving and linen are vernacular textiles associated to Ireland. In this garment, the cloth is pleated at concertina, with narrow and even in space pleats placed vertically in sections and connected by piping. This linen is permanently pleated, making a feature of what would be considered a problem with linen and its tendency to crease easily. Making linen garment easy to care and attractive to a modern woman wardrobe. This method was developed with Belfast anchor chief linen manufacturer Spoos Bryson. Nine yards of linen would be used to create one yard of pleated linen. Permanent pleating is executed placing the fabric between two sheets of pleated card. The fabric gets individually gathered following the pleats and clamped in position. Then it is placed into a steam cabinet and the heat treatment fixes the pleats in position. Machines usually create very fine pleats, but companies like Lognon use hand pleating mostly for Chanel steel at the moment. Usually Sybil Connolly would be using the linen pleated horizontally, creating a full form and shape in her garment, kept in position by a taffeta lining. Contemporary designer like Issey Miyaki used the property of pleated linen to create sculptural shapes and uh, innovative forms in his line Plitz Please. The Washerwoman Skirt this garment is made out of red flannel fabric, usually used for petticoats in Connemara, and transformed into a full country skirt. Narrow waist and full length were one of her favorite styles. Here the skirt is three-quarter length, executed as an old cloth quilt, meaning a single piece of fabric layered over batting or insulating materials and a backing. Stitches are applied on the surface, in this case creating a Baptist fan motif. Quilted skirts and petticoats were popular since the 17th century, mostly in northern countries, to keep warm and the top stitches created decorative design using a large variety of patterns and embellishment. The cream evening gown is made with silk and decorated with Irish crochet lace motifs. Irish crochet lace was developed to imitate Venetian point lace. It is characterized by separately crocheted motifs which later gets assembled and connected into a mesh background using chain and picot. It is executed using a very fine crochet hook and fine crochet linen thread. Mercerized thread are used in the more contemporary pieces. In this garment, the motifs are attached on the cloth like an applique without the connecting ground, creating a three-dimensional effect onto the surface. The Illusion is a black half length coat in Karima cross lace. The characteristic of this type of lace is that the design is applied on organdi to a ground net using couching stitches. The unwanted organdi is cut away, leaving this very visible design. Karima Cross is also further embellished with a variety of decorative stitches. The visual effect is quite striking, making the garment very glamorous and attractive. The Limerick Lace Wedding Veil is made with Limerick most 
traditional textile. Limerick lace was produced in, in uh, lace factory all over Limerick in the mid 19th century. In the 20th century, it would be produced mostly to order for special occasions like wedding, communion veils, and christening gowns. Limerick lace is made on a ground hexagonal cotton net, embroidered with designs traced with a running stitch and embellished by filling stitches characteristic of Limerick lace. The base net is machine made, allowing the creation of large pieces. It will be executed on an embroidery frame and embroidered a section at a time. Limerick lace is not very transparent, making it very suitable for religious functions. The maquettes were created to visualize a design for a client to view, but also to consider scale and finishing. This maquette is made of pleated linen with satin ribbon and taffeta lining. The construction is quite similar to a full-scale garment, allowing a clear run-through of the process. The black maquette is made of black crochet lace with satin ribbon weaved through with a pleat and linen base and a taffeta lining and a net to support the shape. <music>